My name is Harry Beeson. What we're looking at here is a synthetic opal, which is made using polystyrene spheres surrounded by even tinier polystyrene spheres only 500 nanometers wide, around a thousand times smaller than the width of a human hair. You might think that these spheres would have to be delicately placed to get such a geometric pattern, but in fact they assemble themselves as they dry out from a water solution. The self-assembly process was carefully controlled in our lab to form this opal, but similar processes happen naturally with silica spheres and sandstone to form opal gemstones. I am interested in using this arrangement of spheres as a template for making nanostructured solar cells. I fill the gaps between the spheres with a different material and then remove the polystyrene. The resulting structure can be used directly in solar cells, or the process can be repeated to retrieve the original opal structure but in a material other than polystyrene. Hopefully, nanostructural materials like these can be used to build solar cells with improved efficiency or device lifetime.